Hi everyone, it's Destiny again, and we are going to be picking up where we left off. Um, this is part three of the hero, superhero book that we're reading about how children can help uh, fight and use their superheroes to combat coronavirus during the pandemic. So this is going to be our third um, part to this reading book series that we're doing on this book. And uh, this is going to be the final. So we'll get to hear how the book ends with Sarah and her superhero, Ariel. And then she also has had Salem kind of joining and riding with her during her journey on figuring out how she can use her superhero powers to have her voice uh, be heard and educate and teach other people on how to not spread coronavirus. So the next page we're reading, this is the picture that's attached. Uh, where we left off, they were actually landing on an island. If you don't remember, they were landing on an island where there was warm air and there was a sea. So they were surrounded by water. So this is who they encountered when they landed. So let's see what happened. All right, there they saw a camp full of people. One girl saw them and waved from a distance. Okay, one girl saw them and waved from a distance. Hi, Ariel, I'm so happy to see you again, she called out. We are trying to stay at least one meter away. So I'll talk to you from here, but I'd love to meet your friends. My name is Leah, Leela. Hi, Leela. I'm Sarah, and this is Salem, Sarah called back. It sounds like you're trying to protect yourself from the coronavirus. What else are you doing? We are washing our hands with soap and water, Leela called back. I hope you guys out there are washing your hands with soap and water, right? Do you also cough into your elbow, SLM, like this? <coughs> Remember we talked about that earlier? Can you show us how, Layla called back? So Salem showed them. See that? I think that's him right there. Cough into his elbow. We are all trying to be brave, but I am worried about something, said Layla. Can I talk about it with you? I heard someone got sick and died, and it made me very afraid. Is it true people can die from coronavirus? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a scary question, but it's important that when we have questions like these, that we ask the people who care about us and who are taking care of, of us, we ask them these questions so that they can give us an answer, right? But that's a good question. Let's see how they respond to it. Ariel breathed a big sigh and sat on his enormous button. Bottom, sorry, bottom. Yes, little heroes, it's strange, said Ariel. Some people don't feel sick at all. But some people can get very sick and some might die. That's why we all have to be especially careful about older people and those with illnesses because they tend to get more sick. Sometimes when we are feeling very afraid or unsafe, it can help to imagine a safe place in our minds. What, would you like to try this with me? They all said yes, and so Ariel asked the children to close their eyes and imagine a place where they feel safe. So I want everyone to take a second, close your eyes, and imagine a place where you feel safe. And if you feel comfortable, you can share that place with the people who are taking care of you, the people that love you, right? But anytime you're feeling scared about something, it's good to talk to the adults that are caring for you and close your eyes and think of your safe place. Focus on a memory or a time where you felt safe, Ariel, said Ariel. He then asked them what they could see. What can you see? What do you feel? 
and what they could smell in their safe place. He asked if there was anyone special there that they would like to invite into their safe place and what they might talk about together. You can go to your safe place whenever you feel sad or afraid, said Ariel. This is your superpower, and you can share it with your friends and family. And remember that I care about you, and many people do that will help too. Layla said, we all, we can all care for each other. We can all care for each other. That's right, Layla said Ariel. We can care for each other wherever we are. You, would you like to come with us on our last journey? Layla decided to travel with Ariel and her new friends. Sarah was glad Layla joined them because she knew that sometimes we need to support each other, right? Sometimes you need a friend or someone you love or somebody who cares about you to support you. And um, so that's why they took Layla with her and she decided to go because she needed a friend and support. They flew quickly without words, but Layla knew her new friends cared a lot about her. So sometimes when things get scary and you have questions, um, you should always surround yourself and be with people who care about you and who can support you. And it looks like they arrived somewhere new, their last journey, the last destination on their journey. Looks like there's a lot of mountains. Snowy mountains slowly came into view, and Ariel landed in a small town. A few kids were playing by a stream. Ariel, one of them, cried, waving to him. Hello, Kim, said Ariel. Everyone, I want wanted you to meet some friends of mine who have had the coronavirus and got better. So before we were talking about how scary it could be if someone didn't, didn't survive the coronavirus, but there are people who get it and they get better. What was it like, Salem asked. I was coughing and I felt too hot sometimes. I was also really tired and didn't want to play for a few days, said Kim, but I slept a lot and my family took care of me. Some of our parents and grandparents had to go to the hospital. The nurses and doctors were very kind to them and people in our community helped us at home. After a few weeks, we were okay again. That's good to hear that Kim was okay after getting the coronavirus. Look at the next picture. Look at all those friends that Sarah made along her journey with Ariel. It's so nice when you get to meet people and make friends and they can support you and, and you learn and teach each other. I'm Kim's friend, said one of the other children. Just because Kim had the coronavirus, we didn't stop being friends. Even though I could not see him, I never stopped caring about him, and we're happy we can play together again. Sometimes the most important thing we can do as friends is protect each other, said Ariel, even if that means staying away from each other for a while, right? Even if that means staying away from each other for a while doesn't mean you stop being friends. Oh, it looks like they're about to set off to the moon and to the stars. Let's see where they go. We can do these things for each other, said Layla. And one day we will all be able to play again and go back to school like we used to, said Salem. Wouldn't you like that when, when things turn back to the way they were and you'll be able to go play again and go back to school? Yeah. 
It was time to go home and time for Sarah to say goodbye to her new friends. They promised each other that they would never forget their adventure together. Sarah felt sad that they might not see each other for a while, but she felt better when she remembered what Kim's friend had said. Just because you can't see people, it doesn't mean you stop loving them. It's really important. Just because you can't see the people that you're used to seeing every day, doesn't mean that you can't stop loving and caring about them, and doesn't mean that they stop loving and caring about you. The next picture, it looks like Sarah might be back home with Ariel. Let's see. Ariel dropped them all back to their homes and waited for Sarah to fall asleep before he left. Can we do the same tomorrow? Sarah asked him. No, Sarah, it's time for you to be with your family now, said Ariel. Remember our story. You can keep those you love safe by washing your hands stay, and staying at home. And I am never far away. You can always be with me when you go to your safe place. You are my hero, she whispered. You are my hero too, said Sarah. You are a hero to all those who love you, he said. This is the last page of our book. Looks like Sarah's hugging her mom. Sarah fell asleep, and when she woke the next day, Ariel was gone. So she went to her safe place to talk to him. Then drew everything, every, then she went to her safe place to talk to him, then drew everything they had seen and learned on their adventure. She ran to her mom with her drawing to tell her the news. We can all help people be safe, mom, she said. I met so many heroes on my adventure. Oh, Sarah, you are right, said mom. There are many heroes keeping people safe from the coronavirus. Can you guys think of any heroes keeping people safe? You are keeping people safe when you wash your hands and you cough into your elbow and you stay at home. You're doing your part to be a hero to keep people safe. Like wonderful doctors and nurses, Doctors who work at the hospital, nurses who work at the hospital, they're heroes. Moms and dads are heroes. But you remind me that we can all be heroes every day. And my biggest hero is you. The end. That is the end of our book talking about coronavirus and how children just like you everywhere around the world are superheroes and you have a superhero power that can help us during this coronavirus pandemic just by doing the small things like washing your hands and coughing into your elbow and staying in your home and if you do have to go out trying to stay six feet apart from each other that is your part of being a hero and contributing to not spreading the coronavirus. So it was a pleasure reading to you guys. I really enjoyed myself. I hope that you guys have a great evening and I look forward to seeing you soon once our office opens and we begin um, having people come in. All right, stay safe everyone, stay positive, be well.